They've spent hundreds of dollars for a custom furniture they ordered months ago. But now the Kenner storefront appears to be closed and some still don't have what they paid for. Several consumers have reached out to Shelley Brown and the Fox 8 Defenders who've learned there's a connection to another business we investigated just a few years ago. Nothing like this has ever happened to me. When I, and I try to support a local business, small local business, you know, Sandra Williams of Chalmette, Pamela Otibu of New Orleans, and this LSU grad student living in Kenner were in the market for furniture. I really like the farmhouse look. And all three women found just what they were looking for online. Well, I saw it on, on Facebook Marketplace. The price was very reasonable. When they reached out to the online poster, they learned about this storefront along Airline Drive in Kenner. Wouldn't it be perfect? They had a little cute setup of a side table and coffee table, which is what I needed. And I asked if I could have that, and they said they were going to make me a custom one. That was $191. I paid with my debit card. Otibu says she ordered a custom farmhouse kitchen table. And you get a bench with it, and you can customize how many chairs you want. $565 for it. Perfect price. <laughs> Williams placed a much bigger order to furnish her new home. I think it was 48-inch round table with two farmhouse chairs and an octobank, a half octagon bench. And also threw in a blanket ladder, <laughs> two end tables, and a console table with barnyard doors. And it came up to like $1,000.67 or something like that. And I paid full price up front. Williams and Otibu placed their orders in April. She was like, oh yeah, with this size order, it'll take four weeks, so we'll have you done around May 12th. I told them that May 20th, I will want the table ready. She told me three weeks. The grad student, Marissa, ordered in early June. Four months later, none of the women has their furniture. Nothing. No, don't have my money back, don't have the furniture, and I don't have a way of contacting them. Two times she told me she was going to deliver, and she did not show up. I was calling and calling and calling and texting, and no one would respond. So I just went to the store one day to see what was going on. At first, Williams was told her order was delayed because of weather. Yeah, the weather. Yeah, what hold them up was like, she said, because they build outside. I was like, OK, well, I can see that. But communication goes a long way. But more time went on, and the order still wasn't done. But she told me that it wasn't done, and they were going to refund me and send me a re refund receipt. Never got the refund receipt. Don't have no record of a refund coming to my bank, so that led me to file a dispute with my bank. Still haven't gotten the money back from my bank because my bank is trying to contact them to get the, to get the money from them before the bank gives it to me. Otibu says her bank since made her whole, but the business still owes the bank. The consumers quickly learned they weren't alone. Search Facebook for the business page, and you'll find a Facebook group of consumers who've shared similar experiences with the Kenner business. I was like, what? I'm not the only one? So I joined the group, and it was loads of people. Now there are 23 of us trying to put a civil lawsuit in for the amount of over $10,000. I went to the business to try to get some answers, but the doors were locked, the lights were out, and it didn't appear there's much left inside. A note on the door said, we're working from our wood shop. We are diligently working without distractions to get your orders completed. When I reached out to the property owner, she told me she had not seen the owners and they hadn't paid rent in two months. A records request to the city of Kenner shows a business license for Wouldn't It Be Perfect was just issued on March 3rd of this year. A business filing with the Secretary of State on March 2nd shows the managers are Wayne Parta and Don McCann. But in mid-July, it appears a change was made and McCann's name was removed from the business filing altogether. Each of these consumers say Dawn McCann's the woman they placed orders with. Hey, it's Dawn and Wayne at Wouldn't It Be Perfect? It turns out McCann's the former owner of a business the Fox 8 Defenders investigated four years ago. I uh, placed my order for a wooden round table with four chairs for my dining room, uh, paid in cash. I was looking for sort of a console table for my dining room. Was that paid in full? Paid in full on my debit card. 
They paid for custom furniture from the Cajun farmhouse, but told us in 2016 they never received their orders. They're two of 10 consumers who filed complaints with the Fox 8 defenders after they were shocked to learn the Magazine Street shop had shut down. Looking for answers, we went to the New Orleans storefront. The door was locked. Paper covered the windows. I knocked, but no one answered. Later, a man working inside told me he was renovating the place so that a new business could open. Like Deja Vu, their experiences four years ago, so similar to what these women have experienced these past few months. In 2016, an attorney told us the last business expanded too fast and was filing for bankruptcy. According to the Secretary of State, Don McCann's been affiliated with five businesses since 2014. A rental business, a cupcake boutique, the Cajun Farmhouse Furniture, the McCann Group LLC, and recently, Wouldn't It Be Perfect? Only open a few months before we began receiving multiple consumer complaints. And this company, because of this, um, the complaints and the lack of cooperating, they have an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. The BBB's Cynthia Albert tells us they're aware of several complaints against wouldn't it be perfect, but there's been no response from the business. You don't want to put the full amount up front, whether it's home improvement or any type of work. Um, you pay maybe some as you go you know, staggered payments. She also suggests using a credit card after you've researched the business. I'm a single mom of three, and I don't have a thousand dollars just to throw away. For these women and a list of other area consumers, they're not interested in the furniture any longer. Most just want a refund. For the Fox 8 Defenders, Shelley Brown, Fox 8 Local First. We were scheduled to interview Wouldn't It Be Perfect owner Wayne Parta virtually, but he didn't answer uh, after repeated calls. Days later, he emailed a statement saying he chose not to speak on camera because of pending litigation. Part of statement said in part, at this time, the business is still actively working to fulfill pending orders. Customers are encouraged to contact me by email to resolve any disputes. Wouldn't It Be Perfect is not presently taking new orders to focus on its current orders, which is the ultimate priority. My wife Dawn Parta is not the business owner and only works at Wouldn't It Be Perfect, therefore has no need to comment. If you've got a consumer issue, call the Fox 8 Defenders, staffed with volunteers from the National Council of Jewish Women, or fill out our online complaint form.